Hey everybody. Okay, so today we are going to do, we're going to declare string variables. Now this is very useful stuff. This is something that's going to be bread and butter JavaScript that you're going to be using all the time. Uh, strings. Bef uh, previously we've used the code where we said we assigned a variable to the variable name my name and we set that equal to this, which is a string, right? Because it's wrapped in these quotation marks. The string is the words your name, the way that we read it in English. Your name is called a string literal. It is a string because it is a series of zero or more characters enclosed in single or double quotations. So it's it's just a quotation, right? Think about it that way. Create two new string variables, my first name, my last name, and assign the values of the first and last name respectively to yourself. And so for me, of course, my first name is James. And my last name is Bond. Ha! And so this is how you assign strings to James Bond. Uh, look, if we return it, it says, oh, it should have at least one character in it? Should be a string with at least one character in it. Oh, okay, sweet. So here's what's happened. The variable name, they played a little trick on us. They want it to be my first name. And if you come up here, you see it's my first name. This, we need to do it in camel case, so we want to get rid of the the F and make it a and then make it first my first name. So because it's camel case, we want first to be capitalized now. Whereas last, when the first letter is, you with the first letter, you want the first letter to be lowercase, and then you want all corresponding next letters to be uppercase after that. That's called camel case from previous uh, lessons. And so again, we wanna say my last name, but we wanna make it capital L. And I'm pretty sure you could have anything in here. Like you don't need it to be James Bond. Yeah, so it passes like this. You could also have it just be ASDF, ASDF, because the only thing that this program is testing right now is whether or not you have a string assigned to this variable. Still works. Okay, cool. Um, I hope that that is helpful. Um, there's a lot of great stuff coming in with strings. Strings are, uh, are super useful. A lot of times you'll add whole web pages into strings once you get into like upper level JavaScript, uh, React and things like that. Um, String uh, use, usage is super important, so this is an important time to, uh, you know, really boil this stuff down. Let's say you wanted to say another variable, like, uh, there, uh, my name, my, uh, yeah, like, uh, no, my favorite uh, town in America. So now I've got this, my favorite town in America, and now I want to assign it to a city, so I'm going to obviously choose the greatest city in the world, um, New Orleans, Louisiana. And then I'd come down here, I can console.log, and I can say my favorite town in America. You see, because this thing auto-fulfilled here, I can just click that, and then I don't need to write the whole thing. And then if we run the test, we're going to see, oh, look, console.log, my favorite town in America. Why is it not logging it out? There we go, New Orleans, Louisiana matches here and see how the uh, console prints out this string that's very useful anyways i hope that me going on this little my favorite town in america thing was uh useful and uh we'll see you guys in the next lesson